Hi my dears, I am going to show you a very interesting way you can enjoy your tilapia fish instead of just frying it or greening it right away, okay? I have about 20 to 24 pieces of some tilapia fish over here and I am going to go ahead to wash it properly. I'm using some salt. Some people do add vinegar but at this point I don't really want to do that. I just wanted to wash it with some salt to just get rid of some dirt and some germs as well. But do you know that you can use some lemon or some lime and vinegar as well if you want to get rid of the fishy smell totally anyways i'm going to let my fish to drain a little bit you can use some kitchen toils to just pat it dry and here i am cutting out all of the gills the skills so that anybody that is eating this fish can just eat it stress-free without any wahala you understand now <laughs> hi my dears welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time here my name is mariam also known as chef ma or ariwa foodie i'm another nigerian food content creator i'm a food influencer and many more actually i am going to repeat this process to all of my fishes and look at how stress-free and beautiful it's really looking this is going to help the marinade or rub go in directly without any stress so over here i'm going to combine all of my dry rub which basically they are all of my favorite spices and seasonings i do not want to do too much to be honest i added some white pepper some parsley flakes some seasoning i mean all purpose seasoning and some salt i added some yaji as well you know you can find all of the list of ingredients that i use in the description box and over here i squeeze some lime juice just because i want to have that lemony and some lime flavor and aroma you understand so i'm going to turn over the fish and then just make sure that the lime juice goes in directly inside the fish um, you can scrub it just like this that i am doing remember our dry rub our dry spices that we combined all together now i'm going to sprinkle and then distribute the spices to all of my tilapia fish and make sure that every part of the fish has gotten this rub properly and then in and outside of the fish just take your time and do it properly turn it over and then spread more of the dry rub watch me carefully as i do this if you are new here please don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you are loving this video which i know obviously you will definitely do you can also click the subscribe button so that you become part of the community and anytime we post a video you'll be notified and you know be the first to watch our new episode you know you can also drop a comment tell me what recipe you would want me to create and i will definitely create it for you and then tag you as well now i'm going to let my fish to marinate for about 30 minutes to one hour and this is how it looks like okay now in a frying pan a deep pan dough i'm adding some cooking oil and heat it up and now we are frying the fish you guys just drop it gently and be careful because um the oil might spill over and once it is brown just gently turn over the other side so that it can also fry fully and then fry so well as it looks like this now i'm going to take out all of the fish out of the oil and fry the next batch because you know i have about 20 to 24 pieces just repeat the same process and i'm going to move over to make my sauce because we are not just serving the fish like this we are making a very delicious and yet yummy sauce okay in a pan i added some oil and some garlic as well once it starts to fry i'm going to use some chopped onions and some tomato paste and here some roughly blended scotch bonnet pepper you guys please add pepper as you can handle you you know you can actually reduce the quantity just to your preference okay but then i want it as spicy as possible because <laughs> i mean why not so we are going to begin to fry the sauce the pepper mix just so you start to see some oil floating a little bit and then i'm going to add some seasoning and spices you know the spices that we actually use for our dry rub i am adding 
some sesame oil and then some onions as well please add plenty onions well because there's never too much onions i mean i'm an onion lover so why not <laughs> fry it really well and then you can add some water or some meat stock if you have um just cover it and let it simmer for some minutes like 10 minutes is okay so you see oil floating at the top of your stew or your sauce any anyhow you call it you guys that's how you know that your sauce is perfectly done and ready okay this is looking really gorgeous here is our fried fish and i'm going to be generous with the sauce that we just made as it is hot so please don't let the sauce to cool down before you spread it over your fish because we want it to go deep inside the fish and then marry together with the rest of the spices that we actually we actually did and your fish should look as delicious and as inviting as this i'm just spreading some parsley flakes and then some cucumber and some lime just to make it really inviting and beautiful now do you like this recipe is this something you would like to explore please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe for more thanks for watching bye my dears <laughs>